Hello everyone, this is Antelope2, welcome to another Fabric install tutorial, this time for 115. Uh, we'll be installing obviously Unilla and MultiMC and showing the different methods you can use. If you want a mod pack related installation or showcase of which ones are available, uh, I obviously covered that in another video showing which ones are available, how to install them, and otherwise using MultiMC. Now, uh, you want to get an installer for the vanilla one in particular, like so, and then once you double click it, it should load up a window, like so. Uh, obviously you've got access to your release versions, or snapshots, the loader version, where you want it to install it to, you can create a new profile or not, which I've already done, but if you want to ignore it and just update an existing uh, profile, you can do that, and then obviously it'll say done instead of ready to install once it's finished, you can also install for server as well. Other than that though, you've got the loader version here, you can just hit play, and you're good to go. Um, otherwise, when it comes to mods, of course, uh, I've just got Fabric API, which is usually a must for many mods. Not all mods use it, but some of them, or a large percentage of them do. Mod menu will be your mod options button if you're familiar with how Forge does things. And roughly enough items is obviously your NEI, JEI like mod. Uh, I'm not going to be using any that have items or blocks in it uh, for this. So we'll just wait for it to load. As you can tell, obviously, we've got 37 mods installed, got access to our saves and such, and we've got the following three, because the other libraries are hidden, used by other things such as Fabric API, certain of the stuff that other mods use, such as Cloth, used by REI, and a bunch of other things, so, yeah, we need to tweak things if we need to. Other than that, though, we'll move on to MultiMC which obviously you've got two methods. You've got the URL and the local download of the zip. Uh, there is a third version obviously, which you can use by just having a, an existing instance, clicking edit instance, which I've already got the window for it, and then from there you go install fabric with the version you want of the loader, and it'll set it accordingly, and then it'll focus on the version that you obviously um, created originally. I've got a few mods for testing there. Um, obviously, you create a new one for 115 and then do this. And with the others, when it comes to the URL, that'll copy to your clipboard. You can paste it in, or if you've got the local version, you can just obviously browse and it'll do the same with just importing the zip file and with the clipboard it'll already download it from Fabric itself. Now I've already done that, so I'll just demonstrate um, what it ends up as with either of these three methods. And as you can see it's loaded up. Uh, I don't have mod menu installed for this, but either way, we'll just demonstrate. with roughly enough items and better be showing certain stuff installed. In terms of recipe viewer, cheat mod that it is, and uh, blocks and items available. Any moment now, once it works itself out, obviously. And we should be good. There we go. 
And there we go. So, REI on the right. And we've got a bunch of different stuff from Better. Other than that though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.